Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys all here, both old and new subscribers alike. I love you guys. I always miss you guys. I love interacting with you guys. You guys are awesome and I appreciate you now and forever. You know, that last reading we did was, I didn't expect that, but you never know what's gonna come out in tarot. See, I never, I don't wanna use the word never is actually pretty strong. But I, what I'm trying to say is I'm not the kind of reader that talks about spell work like all the time, you know? Like this is, you know, like fear mongering. Like I rarely, like if anything, it'll come out like, you know, only if it really has to, more so if, it, if it's a personal reading or something like that. And, I, and that happened, but it's not something that you're gonna see me talk about often or have it come out in readings. And that last reading, it was clear as day, okay? It was confirmed a hundred times. I'll confirm it again, because I know spirit always, I'm confident with that. But it was, you know, it was clear. And they did recommend that you do a cleansing ritual, return to sender spell, okay? And even if somebody didn't do it, well, you see, here we go. There's the high priestess. The high priestess is a witch, okay? So I said they always confirm, you know? I did wanna point out, even if let's say it wasn't meant to resonate with you, the divine, there's no such thing as, see, look. There's a ritual done sneakily. Even if, let's say, Okay, the divine never leads you somewhere by accident. I'm gonna point that out. So let's say out of the people that watched, it only a select percentage of you, if somebody actually went and put spell work on you, right? The divine is still going to lead the people to watch that reading that will still benefit from a cleansing ritual and a return to sender spell, regardless. Oh, that definitely, somebody definitely, somebody definitely went out and did something for a good portion of you. That came out clear as day. But if you, let's say, if since this is not a personal reading, so I gotta keep it real, it's not a personal reading. However, what I can confirm to you is that the divine did not lead you here if they didn't think that you would benefit from those same rituals one way or another, whether it's because you have a dark entity attached that just is stuck to your energy, you didn't even know it, whether it's some people are just hating on you and just their dark energy is affecting you, whether you just need a cleansing because you moved to a new place and there was dark energy in your environment that you didn't even know was there and is affecting you, because you know that happens. If you have somebody that has dark entities attached to them, living in a home long enough, they move, now you sign a lease, now you're renting, now you're living there. Oh honey, those entities are still there, you understand? So regardless who you are, whether the, spe the specific message was someone actually went out of their way to do something, which is what came out, or regardless, the divine definitely, whoever watched that reading, you were being called to cleanse yourself and do a return to sender, okay? What I did do for you guys after that reading because that energy, I felt like, this is what I did. <laughs> I saw it, I got to work. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles, I got to work. What I did do was this, even though um, I was just reading the energy, I started to feel it linger lingering around my space. I don't like to interact with that kind of energy and then not do a cleansing ritual, etc. myself. Because in order to read the energy, I have to interact with it. So it's like kind of the same, think of it as you going somewhere that has a lot of germs, I think you need to take a shower, right? You need to shower, you need to clean, you clean yourself. You can't just go somewhere where it's like, where there are a lot of germs and then 
go sleep on your bed, get it all up in your mattress and go about your life. Like you need to scrub it off, right? Same thing. But what I decided to do when I did the return, I did a return to sender and I did a cleansing ritual. I did it with the collective in mind. So I did it for all of you. I'm not sure, however, I'm not gonna say that that was enough. For some of you, you still need to do it for yourself, but I'm hoping that it helped, okay? Because I did spend quite, I put an extra effort into doing that for the collective. I mean, I, I focused on the collective while doing it. Anything else you want to say about that spirit before we go on to a completely different energy? Yes. Look at that. The single abundant woman. This is you standing your ground against this energy and claiming your abundance. This is a single abundant woman regardless. She's fruitful. She has pentacles all over the place, okay? She's winning. So everything's gonna be fine as long as you, yeah, look, 10 of pentacles. Wow, from the nine to the 10 of pentacles, that, my dear, is a progression. Everything's gonna change for you very quickly once you start taking a little bit more responsibility for your energetic health, for your spiritual health. It's unfortunate because doctors are not going to start talking to you about this, you know? You're not going to go to a doctor's office. You're not going to have a doctor tell you, hey, you need to do your cleansing. You need to do your rituals. You need to take care. You need to protect your energy field. You need to do this. You need to, there are energy vampires. There are demonic spirits, etc. They're not going to talk to you in those terms. We know that. But it very much so is part of our health. There is a there is spiritual warfare going on, on out there right now. Some of it is being targeted specifically at you. A main message, and by the way, if you're new, bear with me. The reading starts to get more and more specific as time goes on, but I'm channeling. So I'm also sharing whatever the divine wants me to share at the beginning. Divine wants you to just also, like I said, focus on your spiritual health a little bit more. Take a week where you do. Pick a start date. You got to do, you know, things every day, but pick a start date and focus at least seven days, I'm hearing, on doing a particular something for your spiritual health, something for cleansing every day, okay? Do a challenge. You're gonna notice a difference. Because I'm just hearing like, whoever this is, besides the reading that we got last time, put that aside, but that, cause that's a, that's a big, that, that's when like, that's when you're like, you're not just dirty, like you picked up some nasty virus that you gotta like target specifically with, you know, with like antibiotics, okay? But besides that, they're showing me the image of people like just somebody walk going through a hospital and then going to an airport and then going to a farm and then walking through New York City where it's like literally disgusting, down in the subway, gross, and doing that every day and not showering, right? That's the analogy they gave me. If it's literal, then I would go to a doctor and, and get some get the help you need, you know, because I know that sometimes if you suffer through depression, things like I'm not I don't say that as a joke. It's not funny. So let's not laugh at that. But I know that sometimes when our mental health is bad, if we struggle with depression, things like basic things like showering, etc., become very difficult. So to me, that's not a joke. So if that's the case, if that's uh, if they gave me that example, if that's a specific message, the divine's here to try to remind you that you need to. 
if you're having a hard time doing it yourself, call somebody to help you get the help you need so that you can start taking care of yourself. But besides that, side note, we're talking spiritual. They showed it to me as an analogy, okay? As like literally, it is the equivalent spiritually as you go into all these places. Like first the airport, then the hospital, then the subway, then you were touching, uh, you know, like... I don't know, a homeless person that hasn't showered in days, you gave him a hug, and you haven't changed your clothes, you've done all this in the same clothes, you've been sleeping in the, in, in the same bed, you haven't cleaned the sheets, and you've been doing this for months and months and months. And you have a stench, and you have bacteria, but it's spiritual. So you're not going to see the stench, you're not going to smell the stench, you're not going to see, see the dirt, you're not going to see the grime, you're not going to get the symptoms like coughing or or stomach ache or having to go to the bathroom a little bit too much you're not going to get bacterial or viral symptoms or anything like that you're going to look good to everyone else but this is spiritual but you're going to have spiritual symptoms because you're because it's you're you're dirty spiritually you got to take a shower or a bath aka a cleanse so that you can allow something to manifest that's manifesting right now very quickly. That's what I get by the nine of wands is taking responsibility for that. The wands, the suit of wands, you guys know there's wands, the pentacles, the swords, and the cups. Wands to me is also, you know, wands are very, are, are spiritual. To me, signify spirituality. This is you standing your ground against anything that is going to bring you down. You see how there are budding leaves here so that your manifestations can come through. If there's a blockage here. But honey, they are going to come through. But they're they're requesting you do a challenge. Do a challenge for a week. So, pick a start date. You should have a regular spiritual hygiene practice every day, even if it's as simple as just buying yourself some palo santo and buying yourself some sage okay have some protection crystals um get yourself a good black and a good white candle for protection and for cleansing even if it's as simple as saging your house your car and your and around your body and meditating every day that's all you need a lot of the time okay but but you gotta start but you gotta do a deep cleanse right for a week i don't know they're channeling that specifically. Pick a start date and make it an intention to cleanse yourself for seven days. So day one, um, you're gonna sage your house. Day two, you're gonna play Gregorian chants. Um, meditate with it for like an hour, right? Usually you can just do it for 10 minutes and that's enough, but you're gonna do an hour the next day. Day three, find a cleansing ritual, do a cleansing bath, okay? light some candles, some palo santo, meditate in the bathtub, cleanse yourself, okay? I use some Florida water also. Day four, you can do an egg cleanse, okay? I'm not sure, I think I talked about that somewhere on this channel, okay? But you can, I don't know if you can find it anywhere, but I know that there's a way you can cleanse your energy by putting your intention into an egg. Just get an egg. Okay, don't crack it or anything. Focus on cleansing your energy with that. Rub it all over your body and then put it in a bag. Then you got to dispose of it far away from your house. You have to crack it somewhere. Okay, after you do that, and dispose of it far away from your house. I don't know, supermarket, garbage can, wherever you want. Okay, I, I'm not giving you the specific step-by-step -step instructions right now because I'm just giving you examples. But every day for a week, do that. You're going to notice one hell of a difference make sure to pray every day okay call on don't pray to angels directly only okay without speaking to god remember angels work for god talk to god and then ask your angels to come down and protect you angels cannot overstep their boundaries i'm being spoken to very clearly they can't what does that mean? It means they're always connected to you. They will never judge you. They will never leave your side. They always try their best to give you messages, signs, and synchronicities, hoping that you hear them and that you listen. 
but they can't under, over, overstep their boundaries, meaning if you allow yourself to get that dirty, that means your vibration is extremely low and they're very high vibration. So it, it's a it's a bigger, it's, it's harder for them to connect to you because you kind of have to raise your vibration so they can lower theirs a little bit so that you guys can connect and you can hear their messages clearly. But if you're all the way, that's and that is what the spiritual warfare is. Because these dark entities try to keep us spiritually dirty so that our vibration is so low that we don't pick up on the messages. So that we don't pick up on the guidance. So that our manifestations don't come through. So that angels and God don't help us like get things rolling quicker. That's the point. They try to keep you down on the floor, so to say. But make it a point. I'm saying seven days. They're starting off with that message. That was a strong message that they wanted um, to share. And then after that happens, something's going to change here. I see you standing your ground in this way. And this is beautiful. How you go from a nine to a ten of pentacles. What? This is pentacles signify everything in the material plane. Money, wealth stability the ten of pentacles is not only a union marriage but you notice how in this particular deck this is the morgan greer tarot deck in case you're wondering these flagpoles with with uh these flagpoles are are they make a, a cross right behind them it's like by you doing this, you become abundant on your own. And then this relationship and the stability with someone manifests in a way where your connection is unbreakable. Like it is, per like you, literally you've created protection around you. Okay. Ten of Pentacles is a union forming. It's also, but it's also like, um, like I said, things on the material plane. You buying a house, you getting a house, you're getting your finances in order. Definitely, I see an increase in money coming your way. That to me is clear as day because when I see the nine of pentacles here in this particular deck, I mean, look at how extravagant she is. Look at all those pentacles around her, her, her neck. Grapes to me are indicative of wealth. And she does it on her own. And then the relationship forms. And then all these other things form. But there's definitely like, a, this is like windfall energy. But it starts with the cleansing and you not, and you standing your ground. But it's spiritual. Okay? And it might be physical too. Meaning like standing your ground from like certain people in your life. And they're, they're the ones that are getting you dirty spiritually. You have energy vampires. You have narcissists. Sometimes we have no choice but to deal with them. What if you have a narcissist boss? Narcissism is, I, I know I, and I respect, and I went to school for psychology, etc. So I respect the view of science, obviously. You know, they've got it down. They've got it down to a T, and that's great. Whenever my dogs bark, it's a confirmation. But what I was going to say is however what people don't talk about is there is a very specific demonic force that has to do with people that have narcissist that have not that are narcissistic it's a demon it's a demonic entity a lot of condition a, a, a lot of 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 dark triad psychological issues are demon there it's demonic and you can tell in the way that these people move the way that they look at you the way they get satisfaction when when they get control over you or when they win or you know you can you can almost see the demon in their eyes so let's say you're in a situation where it's your boss or it's someone you live with or it could be your own child i mean you know we got to keep it sometimes it's not as uh, it, it's not as simple as like oh it's my boyfriend i you know someone that you could just break up with Sometimes it's it's hard because it's people like in your life that you have to see every day or deal with every day. And if they have a demonic uh, attachment, you again, you got to be responsible for protecting yourself because you're interacting with those demons every damn day. 
I don't want to say damn day because our days are not damned. Our days are blessed. Okay? Their days are damned. Right? Something like that. But I definitely, now I'm getting into specifics. I'm seeing a windfall of money and stability coming here. I don't know what that's about, but something is manifesting. You know what I'm hearing? And I'm going to pull more cards now to get more information. But something you try to manifest. I'm here. I'm seeing the number two in particular. I don't know who this is for. It doesn't have to be specifically two years ago. But I'm seeing like a long distance of time, a passage of time. This is something that you tried to manifest a while ago that didn't actually manifest. You might have just let it go. You might have let this manifest it, this, this go, okay, life happened in between. It didn't work out. But something that you tried to manifest a long time ago is actually going to come and manifest right now out of nowhere. Okay? Maybe it was a job that you applied for literally a year ago and now they're calling you or, or you tried to manifest money and it never came through and now all of a sudden you're going to have an opportunity, you know, to increase your salary or, or win a lottery ticket or something like that. But something's definitely manifesting. So let's get more information here. But it comes from when you take responsibility of your of your spiritual health. Ah, uh, hold on. I'm gonna have to get some kind of back brace for reading tarot. Ever since I started on this channel, I've been getting like a pain on my back, but it's from sitting on the desk and looking down to do this. Like, you know, I'm sure this happens to everyone that does anything that involves like looking down all the time like nail techs etc but it i can't seem to just get comfortable what is this about tell me more about this nine of pentacles here what's this about okay so you've been feeling stuck so something suspended in action what's what what I'm telling you, something that was suspended in action for a long time all of a sudden manifests. Quickly. Something that was suspended in action all of a sudden manifests very quickly. The Ace of Wands is passion. It could be a passion project, something taken off. It could also be romance coming into your life out of nowhere. But you know what? The Eight of Wands means something very quick moving, something moving forward very quickly. For some of you, it's an actual move. I got to keep it real. Whatever it is that's manifesting here is very specific to something that you try to manifest in regards to money and travel and moving. It's like all of a sudden this wand comes here fruitful. Like here it is. Literally like um, it's kind of like you, you see you see this this rod, which is like a, a log and it's 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 budding leaves. The leaves are growing out of it. It's kind of like when you plant a tree. Sometimes it seems like one moment it didn't bear fruit. It sometimes it feels like you just you suddenly like there, it, there's a process through the manifestation. But for us, we just walk outside and all of a sudden we're like, oh my god, look, cucumbers! <laughs> they grew <laughs> like out of nowhere. Look at my tomatoes. You know, out of nowhere. So it seems, but there's an energy around you that something's been trying to manifest, manifest, something's been trying to manifest. But the only thing that's holding it back is something, it's completely energetic. That's why they're urging the cleansing so much. Because you go from being stuck 
to here's a brand new beginning, a passionate, new, abundant beginning, something being fruitful and it happening very quickly. Again, they keep talking to me about money. Every reading is going to be about something else. They keep talking to me about money. If you're having financial difficulty, it's not going to be for long. There's going to be an opportunity arising for you to either be recognized for your talents or whatever you've been working on or for a raise or a new job. I also see something that's going to bring stability and moving. Now we have, I don't read really, I don't, I'm not doing reversals unless they really, unless they tell me. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the, wow. But why was this poking through? Why is the Seven of Swords poking through here? Hold on. Yes, the dirt. Okay, with the Seven of Cups, literally the dirt. Look at all that nasty grime. Look at the grime. Look at the grime. So this this could be about this is this is okay. Now we're talking like okay, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here is a union. The Wheel of Fortune is a windfall. There's two people here together. The Four of Wands is a marriage, like an actual wedding. It's also your home. Stability. Literally, it starts with you taking your power back. It starts with you taking your power back. There you are, Nine of Pentacles. It starts with you taking your power back. There's a need for you to feel beautiful again. Feel good about yourself. Maybe because, see, what happens is a lot of this time you have all this energetic gunk. It starts to also show in your physical. Maybe you stop, like, look at how she's dressed. You don't have to be a female, but it's just a representation of like really taking care of yourself, right? Feeling confident again. Maybe you've lost that a little bit because again, you've been spiritually dirty. Somebody's taking control of their life. This is I'm not taking shit from anybody anymore. Okay? It starts there. I'm not taking shit from anyone anymore. I'm also taking responsibility for my energy. This is no more... And this came out in the, in the members reading yesterday. I kept hearing the message, no more Mrs. Nice Girl. If you're a female, then you don't have to be. But this is you putting your foot down towards shit. But this, and also you taking responsibility for your abundance. If you... Okay? Put the effort to start a project right now. Do it. If you've been thinking about it, this is the time. If you apply for it, this is crooked, isn't it? As usual. I cannot get this straight for the life of me. I might have even made it worse right now. If you, okay, apply for a new job right now, start a passion project right now, don't procrastinate on what you need to procrastinate right now. Everything that they're saying, this is rapid manifestation. This is rapid manifestation. There is a sense of security at home that you're going to be blessed with. There is a new added passion to your life. You might be moving, okay? And there's definitely a relationship and, ha and just straight up happiness here at home and in life. The Wheel of Fortune is your karmic payout. The divine's ready to give it to you. The divine's ready to give you a change. So you might have been stuck for a while in that hanged man energy because of this, this. Not even the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords is someone trying to get away with something. Someone trying to take from you. Okay? 
but it could be indicative of literally those dark entities. The Seven of Cups is illusion, confusion. Fogged mirrors, dirty mirrors, unable to think straight, not able to make a choice, okay? That's the way that these dark entities were manifesting into your world in that way. This is beautiful. Spirit, tell me more about what, what's manifesting. What are you trying to say here? You saw that devil? The devil tried to poke out. And then the Eight of Wands, again. This is letting go of that fear. Clearing that energy and then it turns into, it's you taking control of your life. Again, there's that Eight of Wands again. In this deck, they have words. The Eight of Wands here says, good news, travel, good news. I did get a big travel omen for some of you. I keep getting that. Are you waiting on some kind of news to move somewhere? Or are you thinking about it? If that's for you, wherever you're going is going to be extremely fruitful for you. It's gonna lead to abundance. It's gonna lead to you feeling better about yourself. It's gonna motivate you more. It's gonna lead to relationships strong bonds not just romantically but just strong happy healthy relationships in general that's what i'm getting for the ten of pentacles i know that the ten of pentacles and i mean the ten of cups i know that the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles in general means a romantic relationship but i'm just not getting that so much there since we started with the nine of pentacles which is like that single abundant person the main focus here is not so much the relationship it's forming healthy relationships in general it's forming like because especially with that x here it's like you getting to a place where you don't allow anything to stop you from your success and your your from taking away from the the peace that you have in your home from your stability not letting anything take that from you you've learned that lesson you learn how to protect yourself energetically from energy vampires from people that were taking away from you clear as day you learn how to set boundaries the ten of cups that i'm getting here is more like um you establishing you making new friends healthy ones you've re you've reached that place in your life where you realize what your mistakes were in the past what you allow, maybe you allow too much of people to take from you, um, certain behaviors maybe that you had, which the behaviors that were dark that you had that affected your relationships with people and your connections with people had a lot to do again with that, with those dark entities. This is new relationships forming new friendships. You're just gonna have a happier, healthier more stable life all of that is manifesting for you and yes eventually it's going to turn into like a wedding an engagement all of that but this year the focus is on windfalls for you i'm hearing that just windfalls just changes first in your appearance then in your um stability your finances okay your home I see moving. It says good news travel. You might not even see it yet. But it's just forward moving. You're going to be able to hit your target every time. But they want to make sure that you, in the same way you brush your teeth, focus on cleansing your energy regularly. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups and this, this Wheel of Fortune. Chariot again with the moving. But here it says journey, success, and progress. That's what the Chariot card is in this deck. Once you get into this energy, once you cleanse yourself, everything's going to start picking up very quickly. 
but this change is going to be in the next two weeks. I don't know if you're just going to have an idea while you're meditating this week because they did say like the seven day thing. Something about that. This is, I'm sorry if this is a, such a like ethereal, like abstract reading, but that's what I'm getting. It's like somewhere in this seven day period, if you do the cleansing, like if you meditate every day, Palo Santo, sage yourself every day, even if it's as simple as that. Like make it an intention to communicate with angels and the divine this week and also protect yourself and cleanse your energy. They're going to speak to you this week. Write down your ideas on what they tell you. Something might be coming up I'm getting this week. You're going to have an idea to do something. Okay? And whatever it is, if you actually do it, it's going to manifest very quickly and it's going to be very fruitful. Like maybe while you're meditating, you're going to get an idea to do this kind of project. Soap making. I don't know where that just came from. You just, you just, it just came to your mind while you were meditating for that hour, while you were taking that cleansing bath. If you actually do it, if you actually do it, if you actually wake up after you get those ideas, this, the divine is, um, this is windfall energy. They're going to make it happen. They're going to make it happen. They're going to make it work. That, but you got to keep cleansing yourself from the dark energies that try to stop you from initiating these projects, these things, these changes, this, these move, this move, whatever it is. They're going to talk to you this week, though. That's why they keep pushing the seven day thing. It's like they're trying to get in your, they're trying to, it's like they're trying to give you like a, a winning lottery ticket. It might even be they're giving you numbers. But listen, listen this week. I, I beg you. They're going to give you crucial information. They're going to cleanse your energy and they're going to give you crucial information on your journey and how to get success. And it is. Yes, see? Via your intuition. It says secrets, dreams, wisdom, inner voice and spirit world. They are going to communicate with you and they are going to give you crucial information. I priestess that's going to propel you forward to this windfall energy. Don't ignore the signs. Like they're like I'm telling you, you might literally just start. I just got the soap making example. They might literally put something in your mind. They actually try to do it. And your life is gonna change very quickly. What else do you want to say about this? What is this? The world. She's not broken, but she has a little sticker on top because we're not allowed to show her an animated nudity on YouTube anymore. But this card says, this first of all, closing out cycles, but the world's card says reward, success, completion. So again, there's just, it's all, the, all of the cards are, are speaking of rewards, success, okay? Like good news progress i'm telling you but i think the main message is what they wanted to say is that something so huge abundance is about to manifest very look at the four of wands again it's about to manifest creativity union and freedom is about to manifest very quickly and but they need you to do like a seven day cleanse and they're going to start talking to you and none of the ideas that you get are stupid they are speaking to you directly and they're going it's like well, again winds fall energy now we all have free will if you they decide to give you ideas or something give you some kind of personal information whatever and you don't take the advice that's on you that's on you that's on you anything else spirit you want to say see that's on you confirmed freedom there is nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be you can't make it up sometimes i do these readings and i'm like this is a weird kind of reading I'm like i'm not sure if people are going to be watching this because usually people want to watch readings where i'm just talking about love and like something specific but this is what this is very important this is what spirit is saying and they're confirming it in front of your face literally verbatim there's a card that fell here i didn't take it yet i literally just said it's up to you it's up to you this is most of the reading right now is channeling. 
I'm speaking, but it's their words. It's up to you. It's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you. Literally. And now they're confirming it. Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. They're, they want you to do the seven day, um, what we spoke about for seven days. Okay. They're going to give you a clear path. They're going to clear your mind towards freedom. Because I know that you're stressed right now about something. Whether it's finances, don't know what to do. And the path is going to be clear if you, you, you got to want it. And they're trying to cleanse you from these dark entities that are keeping you like this. They are robbing you. Literally, Seven of Swords is robbing you from your clarity. Robbing you from being able to make decisions. Robbing you from taking the steps that you need to take to, to manifest this stuff quickly. The divine is trying to bless you because it's because the Wheel of Fortune is here, right? So, the, so it's... On the timeline, the time has reached for you to get this abundance, but there is some kind of spiritually transmitted disease, an STD, but not the one that you think of. A spiritually transmitted disease that you have is stopping you from like getting this wheel of fortune that's meant for you right now. Playfulness we got. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Okay? See, a lot of this abundance, they're trying to get playful back, playfulness back into your life. A clear path right now, freedom. Because you haven't been very free in a while. But this path to abundance might have something to do with playfulness. Um... Not just laughter, but doing something fun. Like if, for example, going back to the soap making thing, right? Like that's fun. And it's interesting that those are the cards that came out because this is the lover's oracle. So... The cards here are mostly about romance, so I don't see how that fits in this reading right now. But I, when I heard them say, take it, I trusted that they were probably going to get the cards. But like five cards in here that have not much to do specifically with like, I'm thinking of you, I love you, you're my soulmate. Like I knew it because I know because I trust them. And, and, and that's exactly what we got. Now we got healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship healed at this very moment. Okay. That's also asking you to heal the, the cleansing is to heal both relationships that you're in right now and also people of the past because a lot of that energy is what's affecting you right now is what's caused this spiritually transmitted disease in the first place. They want from the southern oracle. They want from the southern oracle. Ah, oh, hold on. There's that cleansing bath. <laughs> She's taking a cleansing bath with the candles. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Self love, relaxation, regeneration, satiety within, and replenishment. I'm telling you, that's just a, that they, that is just their way of saying. Confirming. Confirming what they're saying. Is that all they wanted to come out? Because I can't. When cards do this and they start flipping a lot like that, that means they don't want anything. You know, I didn't know what was going to come out here. This is what they decided to share today. And I hope this reached who it needed to reach. Okay. Pretty profound message if you ask me. I hope you take the advice though. There is definitely a windfall coming by the end of the year. But they need you to listen. They need you to listen. You know, there's an image here, right here. There's like a little stain on this table here. I think it's of, of glue. I gotta wipe it down. You can't see it. 
you can't see it. It looks like a, a person. It looks like a person walking, kind of slouched forward a little bit as if they're looking at their phone, but they're stressed or they're sad or just a little bit melancholy, a little bit stressed. And it looks like they have their hand back and they're rolling luggage, like a, like a carry-on, like the one with wheels or something like that, okay? So again, there is an element of travel and there's an element of you going somewhere for some of you. If not, it's just the overall energy. This opportunity, this is going to change that energy in you and create a lot more stability so that you could travel, so that you could have more stability and abundance in your life. I wish you could see it, but you can't. It's like, even if I move the thing, because it's clear, but I can see it, it's right here. Why did I just hear florist? What does that have to do any with anything? Something about flowers for somebody? Botany? Botanical? That's very specific. I'm just gonna share it, but I just, like it just, I just heard it. Maybe that was for like one person. If it was you, feel free to comment. Because I know they don't have me share things for nothing. Never. Ever. It's never for no reason. Alright, I love you guys. Love and light.